in the heart of the celestial desert, where golden dunes stretched endlessly beneath the radiant sun, lived a mythical serpent named Sol. Sol, with scales that shimmered like rays of sunlight, was no ordinary serpent. It was the solar serpent, guardian of the sun's warmth and light. One scorching day, as the desert sands danced with heat, Sol noticed a group of curious desert creatures seeking shelter beneath the shade of the mirage palms. The cacti, wise elders of the desert, gathered around Sol, expressing concern for their fellow creatures. With a wise nod, Sol decided to embark on a solar journey to teach the desert dwellers the importance of balance and harmony with the sun. The mirage palms, with their fronds gently swaying in agreement, offered their shade for Sol's journey. As Sol slithered through the desert, it encountered Sandy, the sand fox, who complained about the scorching heat. Sol, with a gentle hiss, explained the sun's role in providing warmth and energy to the desert ecosystem. Sandy, enlightened by Sol's wisdom, thanked the solar serpent and embraced the sun's rays. Their journey continued to the oasis of parched paws, where water creatures sought refuge from the heat. Sol, with a glint in its eye, explained the water cycle and how the sun's warmth fueled the clouds that brought life-giving rain. The water creatures, grateful for Sol's teachings, danced in the oasis waters, celebrating the harmony of sun and rain. As they reached the starlit dunes at nightfall, Sol revealed the magic of the lunar cycle and how the moon, a celestial companion, provided a cool respite from the daytime heat. The nocturnal creatures, serenaded by the whispers of Sol's scales, embraced the harmony of both sun and moon. With each encounter, Sol shared the secrets of the sun, fostering understanding and appreciation among the desert dwellers. The celestial desert, once a realm of discomfort, transformed into a haven of balance and unity. Sol, having completed its solar journey, returned to the Mirage Palms. The desert creatures gathered beneath the shade, expressing gratitude for Sol's teachings. The celestial desert, now a tapestry of life and warmth, echoed with the harmonious dance of sunlit sands and moonlit dunes. And so, in the heart of the celestial desert, Sol, the solar serpent, became a legendary figure, a tale whispered by the desert winds, etched in the golden grains of sand, and celebrated by the creatures who learned to coexist with the boundless energy of the sun.